Exactly mm -hmm. East. Okay. Um, I just made the name change recently. Uh, okay. For the, for the for the new year, um, I used to go by Big East. Okay. But um, why the change? Why the change? Um, pretty much uh, Big East. If you're familiar with Big East, the conference. Okay. Uh, the college football conference. Um, pretty much. Just so you can be more. Yeah. Direct, I get it. Yeah, yeah, because because at that point I was sharing my name pretty much. So you know, like whoever was looking for me, they would like go through that first. And see basketball versus you before getting to me. And um, I thought it was marketable. You know, I thought it was real marketable. And after sitting down and talking with my team about it, it was it felt like a good move. Okay, so you drove straight from Brooklyn here. It's a small drive. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Um, we actually flew in actually. Okay, so you're on tour. Yeah. Um. So. so we're doing the press tour for the new EP that just dropped. What's the name of that EP? Forever Dripping, Never Slipping. Uh, everywhere. Um, all major streams. iTunes, Tidal, uh, Google Play, Spotify, Amazon Music. Okay. So, you know, you can stream it everywhere pretty much. And this is the first single that we're about to drop tonight? Yeah, the first single, which is called Show Me Love. Show Me Love. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's got a nice, you know... Mainstream sound. So, yeah, what, yeah, yeah, I appreciate so would you, it. So, would you, so what would you describe your your artistry as? Your your flow, if there's an artist like you or that you've modeled or just you've seen, you're impressed by. I don't know. Just what would you say yeah. people can connect with this before we drop it? Um, I feel like I'm a versatile. Like, like I'm really versatile. Um, I was talking to my PR about this prior the other day. I feel like I'm one of the probably the few that can uh, tap into like. The new sound of uh, EDM pop, and um, play play with my vocals a little bit with the auto tune, and then I could. Uh, so you're mainly a singer, a rapper, or a mix of both. I mean, you know, it gets. I would say I'm a mix of both. Well, okay. no, I would say I'm an artist. Okay. Yeah, I would say I'm an artist first. That um. That could rap really well, cause you know, I mean, that's where I can uh, That's where I come from. Uh, well, I mean, up. Brooklyn, yeah, I mean... you know, that's where I come from. Just being real heavy with the balls and things like that and the lyrics. And then, you know, as I grown and matured and uh, try to perfect my craft, I figured out uh, other things along the way. Which artist maybe influenced you to be where you are today? To get started, even? Um, indie or mainstream, it doesn't matter. Cause we're, we're, this is the indie show. Well, I mean, the artist that made me feel like and and gave me the confidence to uh like do music as a bigger person would obviously be biggie um especially when i was younger you know my my moms and uh family members in the house would tease me about you know me being biggie and all of this you know what i'm saying um i will also say uh one of my influences is heavy d Okay. He, he he was really comfortable in the skin. Yeah. He, he could move. You know what I'm saying. He never cussed on the radio. Never. never. Ladies, he, yes. He never cussed. That was one of the few rappers who came out. You never had to worry about a dirty version. He also never used profanity in his music. And, you know, he was swaggy too. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. um, cutting edge. <clears throat> I definitely think he brought like a lot of swag. You know what I'm saying for the big boys. Yeah.